It's pretty crazy the amount of documentation that they kept on everybody who came into Auschwitz. Hey guys, we're Kyle and Maddie, and we graduated college in December of 2021. After working hard to pay off our student loans and save money, we've started traveling the world full time. There's just one thing. We're attempting to do it on $60 a day as a couple. While that may seem small, we know that we can have an amazing time as well as keep our costs at a minimum. Stick around to see how we adapt to full-time travel and maneuver our tiny budget to have some experiences of a lifetime. Good morning from another beautiful morning in Krakow, Poland. Today, the video is not going to be very cheery or happy it'll actually be pretty somber because today we are going to visit Auschwitz this is something that I've been excited to see for a really long time so we're really excited to go but also know at the same time that it's a very sensitive place and a place that needs to be respected and a place that needs to be thought after so yeah we'll keep that in mind finished up with our lunch and now we are outside and walking to a place called Ghetto Heroes Square. During the Nazi regime, this is where they had the Jews from the ghetto come to line up. They told they were going here to leave for a better life and they were told to bring one possession with them with, along with some clothes and a lot of them brought chairs so they could sit down and wait and instead of going for a better life, they ended up going to concentration camps. left Ghetto Heroes Square. We kind of stood around for a minute. There wasn't a whole lot to do there, just kind of see the chairs and it let us see what the area was like. It's not really touristy, so yeah, we were in and out of there pretty quick. Now we're just heading to the bus station. We have like a 1.6 mile walk, so it should take us like 35 minutes. station and now we just had to uh, get on and it should be like an hour and 15 minutes maybe not completely sure but I think that's all right so we just got dropped off from the bus um, if you are taking the same bus that we did, do not get off until the camp. You will know when you get off. Don't question it, just stay on. Yeah, it'll have a sign that says museum, so yeah. it's a dead giveaway. Actually, turns out that most of the Jews that were ported into Auschwitz were mostly from Hungary, and it was like 430,000, I believe, and there's like 300,000 were from Poland, and then the numbers start to drop quite a bit from other countries, like 69,000 from France. So that was super interesting to us. also tell how old and worn the buildings are because all of the steps inside are like sinking down in and all the stone is worn. It's pretty crazy. You can just tell just like how much movement went in and out over the years and your sense I guess now too. crazy 
crazy the amount of documentation that they kept on everybody who came into Auschwitz. Basically everybody up until 1943 had their picture taken and they have their dates of when they were born, when they came in, and whether they died in the camp or survived. The way that our bus was scheduled and since we got the free tickets to come into Auschwitz we don't have a lot of time so we left Auschwitz 1 and we are now at Berk, Auschwitz Berk now so Auschwitz 2 and we only have 30 minutes here which is a third of the time that they say that you need minimum so we're gonna try to get some of the important stuff before we have to leave. Auschwitz-Berg now. It's crazy to see how big it is in real life. Like, there is so much space within the camp. And you can see where there's a lot of buildings left up, but there's a lot. There's more buildings that were taken down than that were left up. So when you go into Auschwitz-1, there is a lot of artifacts, like shoes and hair and stuff of people that died in Auschwitz and but there's also a ton of reading on the history of it like before before the camps were up during and after so there's hours and hours of reading and I don't think you can possibly get through it all but it's a lot of good history we're pretty disappointed with the lack of time that we have to visit Burke now but we're just making the most of it and seeing what all we can see on walking and walking through Burke now and the amount of building ruins that are here is crazy like from the pictures that you see online and on social media they don't compare in size to when you're actually here all right so a lot of the places where they're actually gas and stuff are now complete ruins like you can kind of see behind me but we still thought it was something really special that we wanted to see, so we made sure to come back and now we literally have to run back. <laughs> Ooh, a bug in my eye. <laughs> okay, we actually have to run back to the front of Burke now to catch our bus so we can get back to Krakow because we are taking the last bus back to Krakow. So, we saw what we could in a little amount of time. <laughs> I'm glad we did see what we got to see, but now we have to go. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you tomorrow for our overnight train to Prague. Woo!